In the past few months, more than a half a dozen Americans have been killed or attacked while in the Dominican Republic. We've teamed up with Fox and Friends and sent Griff Jenkin Jenkins down there to investigate what is happening exactly. Griff spoke to some key people on the island and joins us exclusively live from the Dominican Republic tonight. Griff? Hey, Tucker, good evening. When it comes to finding answers, we find that the officials here are mostly stonewalling us. Hotels aren't going on camera to talk to us, and the tourism minister's out of the country. So we took the hunt for these answers straight to the top. Danilo Medina is the president of the Dominican Republic. He's been in office since 2012. He was at a groundbreaking uh, event yesterday. So we went with our questions. Here's what happened. Watch. Mr. President. Mr. President. I want to ask you about the, the recent deaths of four Americans here at resorts. Yes, Mr. President, just a comment, sir. Now, one of the gentlemen you see there, Tucker, that the president Medina is talking to is Frank Ranieri. He's one of the wealthiest investors in tourism in the Dominican Republic. He was willing to speak to me afterwards. He says he's worried about the impact that these deaths may have on tourism. Here's some of what he had to say. Listen. When people come to all-inclusive, I'm not an all-inclusive hotel, people have a tendency to drink and eat more than often. And that's where the problem begins. Because when you get everything free, then you make a party of, out of it. So sometimes some people may n not be capable of, of uh, uh, drinking and eating as much. And that's why you have incidents with heart attacks and things like that. But it's... It's not a problem of the mini bar. President Medina is a very responsible man, and I'm sure he's, take, he's involved personally in supervising and making sure that all this uh, comes to, a, to an end and he gets a clear picture of why that happened. Now, when it comes to the mini bar, you heard Mr. Ranieri mention it there, the Hard Rock Casino and Hotel in Punta Cana that we showed you that video last night of the mini bar where you have the full fifths of liquor in there. They are issuing a statement tonight uh, sending their sincerest condolences to the families of Mr. Robert Bell uh, Wallace as well as David Harrison and said that the ongoing investigation will continue saying this, quote, we can assure you the safety and health of our guest is now it has always been our highest priority. We currently implement beverage protocols, including purchasing sealed and unopened products from licensed and reputable vendors, as well as daily inspections of all products served throughout the hotel bars and in-room liquor dispensers. So at least the Hard Rock there responding to our investigation. But, you know, it is going to be the final toxicology and pathology reports of the last four individuals that have died here, the Americans that have died here. I can also add to this. The hotel uh, resort behind me, Tucker, here, the Bahi Principe. This is where that Maryland couple, Edward Holmes and Cynthia Day, were unresponsive, didn't check out on time. They were found dead in their room on May 30th. Their attorney telling me about 30 minutes ago they just got the bodies back today to Maryland. He will do his own independent autopsy and toxicology report. We'll find out what those results tell us when they're available. Tucker? So those are the people, Mr. Neary suggested to you may have eaten themselves to death because the food was free. Well, you know, he's clearly a, a billionaire on the island that has a big stake in all of this. And he pointed out, Tucker, that it did, did, you know, didn't these, seem a plausible uh, explanation. I'm no physician, happen. but yeah, it's pretty, yeah, that's I mean, pretty it, unbelievable. It tells interview. us Griff one thing. And it, it tells us one thing, Tucker, and that is that they're scrambling in the wake of these tragic deaths and certainly hope no more happen. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Griff Jenkins, thanks a lot. We'll see you uh, tomorrow.